or not, you may prove useful. Speak quickly. I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise, they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred arons. G greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Haran Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverence sent you, I presume? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? The eternal f, f fire a gift from the Reverend, I presume. The Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a witcher. I do. The d d dead emerge from the river at the night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me. I'll s spare no exp expense. I'll help in exchange for information about Salamandra and throw in 100 orans for my expenses. I heard you were looking for Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Where would I find these drowners? W where? At the river's edge. They creep out of the water after dusk. I see. Witcher! Listen, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. N n not here. 
You want to get both of us in trouble? You're no saint. Afraid of a box? You have so much contraband in stock. Survival instinct. I'd rather lay low. The Reverend detests this game. So you know what it is? I, I, I didn't say that. They're obviously not of human make and stink of de devilry. Best ask among the dwarves. They must know something. Thanks for that, at least. The Eternal f, -f fire A gift from the Reverend, I presume. What do you sell? Anything, r really, but in these hard times I have a rather l l limited selection. Show me. The c c customer's always right. The Eternal f, f fire a gift from the Reverend, I presume. Itches.
Edmil Havkaran. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Nendwan, Esavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some Hawker's specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vat Telnain. You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Haran's. Sorry, Ensaid. But I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vatgern. We're part of a 20 elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach Vizima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. Good. We have no choice. But you do. Fine. Take the goods. We're no criminals. We'll pay you. We have gold, pelts, herbs. Give me the gold. I have no use for the rest. Here. We'll take what we need now and come back for the rest later. The drowners shouldn't bother you anymore. The fail, Vatgern. Farewell. Witcher! I killed the drowners and encountered elves. E elves I don't believe I know any e elves They were expecting you. Who are they? Skoyatel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who did deal with them are hanged. Be betray me and you'll hang too. I'll keep quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe, then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We spoke. They said their entire unit would come back for the rest of the crates. Are they m mad? D dangerous for them to come so close to Vizima if someone were to report it. Meaning? Skoyatel heads f fetch a high price, Witcher. But b best forget you know that. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. 
Here's your gold. Salamantrical like tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat, set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the reverend. He'll decide what you should know, but I wouldn't mind them gone. Farewell. Witcher! Any other work for a witcher? Hmm, I c could probably find something. I need a parcel delivered to Vizima, to a man named Coleman at the Hairy Bear Tavern. No questions asked. Give me the package. I'll drop it off. C Coleman will pay you. Reason for you to be here. Mad Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire. As long as you can prove you killed some, I'll return with proof. Hurry.
From the blood and dents, this armor's a warrior's. But this fatso's more familiar with tankard than sword. Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why enter my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Calm down. I've no desire to hurt you. I just need to ask you a few questions. I don't talk to strangers. I'm Geralt. Now you know my name. Have a drink with me, Master Geravant. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? Of course. <clears throat> he told us to question strangers. A ring of the eternal fire. Must be from the Reverend. The Reverend sent me to help you. He's always thinking of me. I have this gardening problem. I'm no gardener. Let me finish. Some time ago, strange plants erupted in my garden. These plants, they're alive. Useful they were at first, devouring moles and insects. What's the problem then? Now they're as big as a man with giant branches. Luckily, they're buried underground in daytime, but I'm afraid to go near. I'll see what I can do for 120 orins. I'll pay 50 orins. Let's drink to that. Hundred and twenty, and not an orange less. Uh, two weeds for seventy orange. I said a hundred and twenty. I need to live. I need to drink. My final offer is eighty. Cheers. Ugh, strong stuff. How about a hundred? Deal. One last shot. Mm -hmm. Speak your mind. I've slain the monsters in the garden. Pay up. You want your eighty orans? Here. We agreed on a hundred. We drank some ale, but my memory rarely deceives me. Now listen here. All right, here's your coin. I told you not to slay monsters while drunk at night, but you insisted. You frightened me. I risk my neck for you, and you try to cheat me. 
Don't forget to tell the Reverend I helped you. Speak your mind. You a soldier? What's it to you? I noticed that suit of armor. My brother's. He fought at Brenner and other places. Oh, I detest soldiers. Except my brother. Relax. I'm no soldier. Speak your mind. Any monsters around? The howling from the village turns my milk sour. Anything stranger than that? The fog was so dense one time I strayed to the witch's house, where a great beast stared in her window. Tell me more. Well, I wasn't about to stay. I turned round so fast I nearly left my legs behind. But it was as big as a horse, billowed smoke and sparks like a hearth. Later. Speak your mind. You play dice? Pagan custom. I'll hear none of it. It's like the Reverend says, weed it out, weed it out. You know what this is? Take it to the dwarves. I'll say no more. See ya. Speak your mind. That dog seems to be looking for something. Watch those Echinops thorns, pup. What are you guarding? Speak your mind. Later. That Watch those What are you guarding? Halt! What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a... what do they call that? A, a, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. 
Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Of course. I don't believe you. He give you anything? The Reverend said, worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. The Reverend said you could use my help. Uh, I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. I'm a witcher. So I'll rid you of the fiends, but in exchange, you'll pay me 200 orans and tell the Reverend I helped you. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll tell him what I know, which will be little. And I don't have much gold, neither. But no matter, just so long as the deadens are slayed, eh? See you later. The Reverend said... Where would I find these ghouls? Near the inn. There's a hill. An entrance in the... Uh... Farewell. The Rev... Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. Wouldn't hurt to ask. Farewell. The Reverend said... Got any problems around here? Well, that Cartiona or whatnot. Damn plague's been about killing folk. And we got monsters too. Monsters? What kind? Well, there's wolves. Lots of them. And there's the deadens, and there's elves and kobolds. Wolves, you say? Oh, heaps of them, sir. And them much have gone wild. It used to be I could pelt them with rocks. No, I'm just afraid. I see. Hmm. Uh... I found these strange dice, dwarven handiwork. Don't know what folks have said, but I quit playing long ago, I, I swear. Relax, Mikkel. I'm just asking. The Revan can tell you I burn my box and renounce the devil. Talk to the dwarf, Zoltan. Zoltan, you say? Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. The ghouls came for her remains.
Mm-hmm.